a.m. here on August 10th, 2024. It's a Saturday morning and uh, if you can see over my shoulder, we are in Busan, South Korea. The biggest port in South Korea and the sixth largest port in the world. I mean, this city is massive. This parking lot, uh, you see this lot down here? There were probably like 50 buses, so uh, most of the cruise ship's passengers that purchased excursions have left, and there's probably no excursions left right now at 9.30. We're in port from 8 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. Here we are, officially on foot here in South Korea. Diamond Princess cruise ship behind me. cleared through South Korean customs and uh, we're officially good to go. Busan Bank Money Exchange. I guess I should get some cash, huh? Uh, the currency here is one. All right, I just purchased a ticket on the bus here. It's like a 20 minute ride to downtown Busan from the port. Let's get these beautiful uh, violet grape looking uh, curtains here. Oh, I also exchanged uh, $100 US to won, which is the Korean currency. I believe it was 1,333 won per dollar. So I just purchased uh, about $100 worth, which is 133,000 won. I figure that should be enough to get drunk down here. A few minutes later, the engines start to rumble on the large tour bus, and we start to make our way away from the Diamond Princess cruise ship and towards downtown Busan. It's a Saturday morning here in Busan, a little after 10 a.m. Light traffic, uh, not a bad ride. Lots of sights to be, be seen. These two beautiful blue twin towers here sit overlooking the harbor here. We cross over a few bridges and uh, make our way into the proper downtown of Busan. The tour bus will be dropping us off in front of a hotel and we have to be back by a certain time. I believe, I believe it was like 4 or 5 p.m. We weren't in Busan for too long, but uh, I still get a decent amount of exploring accomplished. And like any tour bus on vacation, we're flying around town at a rapid rate of speed here, covering lots of ground on the streets of South Korea. You can see a subway system there. I didn't use the subways or the trains today. I just uh, took this tour bus downtown, got dropped off in front of the hotel and headed out on foot and explored the town. I didn't have a data plan for my phone while in South Korea. For the majority of this trip, I was in Japan, so I paid the $100 to get the Japan data pass through Verizon for my phone, but in South Korea, I did not have any data at all. I was roaming. So it made this part of the trip a little trickier. I couldn't use Google Maps or Google Translate too much. All right, I got off the shuttle bus here. It dropped us off in front of the Stanford Inn Hotel. This is a one-way shuttle. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing yet. All right. 1,300 won is a dollar. Keep that in mind. I make my way across the street to the Busan Film Festival area over here. Busan International Film Festival. Yeah, it's another extremely hot day. Apparently you can ride motorcycles on the sidewalk here. It's like the fifth motorcycle I've seen riding around on the sidewalk. 
This Busan International Film Festival area gets really packed with tourists and all these food carts are really jamming later. Luckily, I'm here early. All about that K-pop goods. I was on the lookout for K-pop stores because I have some friends that really oh, yeah, love K-pop and I wanted to get them some cool souvenirs. Got a bunch of uh, little food vendors here set up in this uh, these archways inside the uh, Busan International Film Festival, so maybe they put those up that night. Couldn't tell you, but uh, yeah, a lot of cool little food vendors here. All right, let's go exploring. I'm assuming this is an arcade. I find myself in the pink neon lit arcade here, checking out these machines. You can see here they have a variety of claw machines here. You got some Kirby's in there. Just all sorts of little plushies of assorted sizes here. After a brief walkthrough, I head back out to the square to get some street food. Got some pot stickers and stuff here. Alright. Check this out. Awesome. I ended up getting some dumplings from that street food vendor and they were awesome. They have, K this is the second K-pop store I've seen. Obviously, uh, BTS, it's your uh, K-pop boy band, Blackpink. I gotta check out some of these stores, get some more souvenirs. Pot stickers, the first pot stickers I had were filled with glass noodles. The next one is some sort of meat. I can't tell if it's chicken or what. Busan definitely feels more foreign to me than, say, uh, Tokyo did. It feels much more exotic. They have public Wi-Fi here, which is good because I don't have a data plan on my phone for South Korea. And uh, I have to keep my GPS coordinates up because uh, I mean, I need to get back to the Stanford Hotel probably by 4 p.m. So. Zero calories. Hmm, I understand that one. Too cool. So I searched for bar and uh, this is where Google Maps took me. I, I didn't see any bars in the other region. I only got uh, five hours left to spend this money. So I found this bar district, but it turns out it's a little too early. It's still only 11 a.m. and a lot of these bars don't even open till like, I think 3 or 4 p.m. at the earliest, even though it's a Saturday. All right, looks like none of the bars are open yet, but this is a beer, this is a bar behind me. It's like 1,300 won to the dollar means beers here are like a dollar 25. We win for the U.S. dollar. Gotcha machines are like the uh, little, you put a token in and you spin the wheel and it drops you a ball with a random prize in it. Oh, I recognize a Pokeball if I've seen one anywhere. Guess I should go into this arcade. Hmm. That one looks like karaoke. It's fun. It's got some girls in their underwear in there, so that one's probably a strip club or a brothel or something. I don't know. Definitely getting into the more seedy part of town. Hear those cicadas going wild. Dog Cafe. Check that out. How cute. I think a lot of these places aren't open yet. Looks like the uh, residential zone. Got some condo apartment towers here. Grocery store, liquor store. Yeah, this is like the bar district here, I'm pretty sure. Listen, they got a whole bunch. They got a Suntory, it's your Japanese whiskey. They 
got some good old Americana right there, some Jack Daniels. They have live squid, live shrimp, looks like snow crab, snow crabs in there. These are prawn, these are your prawns here. And uh, I've got some fishies in here. Pretty cool. I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, those are conch shells? These are like uh, clams. Look at these. I'm not, are those langoustine? Different types of shrimp here. I'm pretty sure these are prawn. We have blowfish. That's your uh, fugu. Other types of fish in there. We got some flounder. More flounder. I, I don't know what this one is. Got some uh, some squid. Some crabs. On this street behind me, they had a whole bunch of uh, live shellfish, live fish, live squids. Uh, and I believe the restaurants where you like pick out or you order it and they like uh, prepare it for you They had uh, Yeah, they're, they're probably like four or five of those restaurants like that pretty cool uh, I mean, you know your food is fresh Been uh, walking around for Maybe an hour or so maybe 90 minutes just kind of like checking out the shops and stuff. I, f I found a 7-eleven Got one of those green teas. Yeah, I need to find something to do. The bars are all closed. It's still, it's still before noon. Fresh shipment of claw machines has arrived. As I walk further and further away from the Stanford Inn Hotel, I leave the bar district and start to make my way into the more commercial district, the large retail. This dense commercial area is filled with a lot more tourists, a lot more shoppers and uh, it leads me over to a really large mall over here. I'm getting into a much more touristy area now. I found a Nike store, obviously. Exchange rate comes down to 38,500, it's like 28 bucks. 1,300, 1,300 won to the dollar. the Nike store in downtown Busan and uh, they got uh, I mean I'm going on here Detroit looks like they're setting up for a free concert over here it's probably Blackpink or BTS got some uh, uh, bigger brand name stores up here Got Adidas, Lacoste. It's pretty, uh, getting into the higher end shopping area. This is an MLB store. Check out that one up on top. Detroit. Yeah, check out that. They have a MLB, Major League Baseball store here. HBAF. What do you think that stands for? Healthy, but awesome flavors. Carrot cake. Wasabi. Please, don't touch me. It's pretty cool. And Nike must be really popular here, because this is the second one within like a couple blocks, but I love Nike, so. Kimchi burger. Let's go. Mega coffee. All right, I've been walking around. Been walking around for about two hours now. I need to sit down and 
get a beer and some more food, but uh, this building over here is the mall, so I'm gonna go explore that next. I started out in like the bar, kind of dive bar, a little small restaurant, uh, street food, uh, you know, like food stand area. Now into the big shops. All right, gonna check that out. All right, guys, stay tuned for episode two of my Busan, South Korea vlog, where uh, I'll go into this mall. Got a huge food court, get a bunch of different types of food. Yeah, check it out. Pretty cool mall, and uh, yeah, there, there might be three parts in this vlog. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. All right, thanks for watching.